What up, man? This is Gamer Style 808, and I'm here to bring you guys Masashi. Masashi Sensei. What the fuck are you doing? Why the fuck are you doing this? What is this fucking trash that you're giving us? Let me get straight to the point. Boruto anime. I just recently watched Boruto. You know, I watched the first episode like when it first popped up. I recently started watching it. This shit is utter garbage. Trash. Awful. I know Masashi's not writing this, but he's overseeing it. This shit is a waste of fucking time. What a trash anime. Oh my god. And there are plenty of opportunities that this franchise could have had. There's so many untold stories about Naruto in the past. But instead you went... You know what? I'm one of those guys that I look at a lot of franchises. And they go back in the past and they screw it up. And for a time, I've been the type of guy to always say, you know what? Just go forward. Create new content. Don't go in the past. This is one of those instances where I'm just like, fuck the future. These new generation niggas, these new ninjas, they are all a waste of fucking time. The only one that I even remotely care about is Sarada. Since apparently she's the only... Like we've had Naruto for like how many years? She's the only Uchiha member who's a female who has a Sharingan. At least from what I... I don't remember seeing a female with a Sharingan. And also, Naruto has is notorious for having trash female characters. Let's keep it real. All the female Naruto characters are whack. All of them, including Kaguya. Yes, she was whack. She was trash. She was a waste of fucking time. A waste of a villain. We didn't need her. You could have just stuck with Madara. Like, his plan was just fine. Bringing her back and making her the villain was like... What the fuck? But I'm not off... I'm, not, I'm on board with her right now. Boruto is trash. I looked at the characters, right? And then I started looking at them and I was like, hold on. First of all, their hair is trash. I don't know who the fuck is drawing these niggas, but their character design is like so, oh my, hold on. Let me, let me pull this shit out for a minute. So like I said earlier, right? Sarada, <laughs> her name was Salad, I think, early on, but then they changed it to Sarada. I remember. I remember, but then they changed, they changed her to like, S Sarada from Salad, <laughs> oh my god, I'm looking at Choji's daughter right now, she's, yo, <laughs> this is not good at all, no, oh my god, oh my god, w what is going on man, I'm looking at Rock Lee's, I don't know if it's his kid or not, but I'm looking at these niggas. Look at <laughs> Look at look at Sai's kid. That fucking blonde hair. It looks like whoever was drawing this shit was like, let me not piss off, you know, Masashi since he drew these characters. Let me just take these two characters, mash them together, and let's see what the kid will look like. You know, let's give Sai's kid blonde hair since his mom is Eno, and then let's make him look like a little Sai, you know, a pale skin type kind Oh my god, no, 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 I'm looking at Shikamaru's kid, it's, he it looks like Shikamaru exactly, they probably went and got the same voice actor, and this is one of the part of the problems that I've had about towards the end of Shippuden, you know, I wanted a lot of these ninjas who are fathers right now and parents to die, because they were like wasted, but now they live on so they get to have kids who are shinobi. And their kids are fucking... Oh my god. Let's talk about Boruto for a minute. His hair looks like somebody just took a shit somewhere. And then grabbed it and just played with it a little bit. Kind of like clay. And let it sit there for a while. His hair is utter trash. And the, don't say that, oh it's just hair. It's a, a fundamental important thing about anime is hair. Let's let's not act like oh hair is just that nah nah homie hold on let me look at these niggas for <laughs> so I see like 
Orochimaru's kid. I don't know. Spoiler alert. This motherfucker is Orochimaru's kid. Uh, I forgot his name. The motherfucker. For a minute, I thought he was. He looked kind of like the second Hokage. But whatever. Let me get back on this for a minute. I'm looking at their life and I'm just like, why? Uh, man, nah. I'm not feeling this anime. I'm not feeling this trash anime. Masashi, guess what? I'm a fan of your previous work, but this shit is utter trash. You already broke my heart with the previous towards the end of Shippuden. I'm not gonna let you fuck me up with this. And I had to make this rant to let you new anime fans know that this product is inferior. So fucking inferior to the actual Naruto. What the fuck? I seen the new either board to it and I'm just like, I don't want to even know what it is. I don't care what it is. I watched the movie. They turned Naruto into a fucking trash dab. Out of all the characters, they made Naruto the one guy who didn't have a dad, who regretted not having a dad, who suffered from not having a dad. They took him and made him into a trash, deadbeat dad who just works all day long. This is the same guy who wanted to become Hokage and now just so people can look up to him and now he's a terrible father who doesn't even pay attention to his kid. That put a patch in my mouth. Motherfuck whoever wrote this story. I know Masashi didn't write. I don't know who these fucking writers are but y'all niggas are trash. And instead of making him a great father figure, they made Sasuke his father figure. They made him the sensei. Teaching Boruto all, you know, Chidori and all that. Nigga, fuck you, Chidori. I stopped caring about Sasuke anyway, since he's so fucking emo. Keeps keeps changing his mind, like, every fucking episode. But back to this Boruto trash-ass anime. The characters are... Whack. Rock Lee's son, you know, I, I mean, what do I expect? Rock Lee himself was trash in Shippuden, so whatever. Who else? They couldn't draw a night, you know, Shikamaru's kid, they couldn't... I mean, I guess he had to be intelligent, but again, like, you could have given him a different personality. Like, you didn't have to make him an exact copy of Shikamaru. It's like watching Naruto all over again. It's just a fucking waste of time. Who else? I do like... Boruto's little sister. I don't know. She's she's kind of funny, I guess. But everybody else is like an exact ripoff from their own parents. It's so it's like Masashi gave these fucking writers an opportunity to make you know a great sequel to the anime, but instead they just went and said, "What can we do to not piss him off so he won't fire us?" You, you don't do that, man. If it was me, I would have said, you know what? I'm going to make this story like generations later, not after Naruto. I would have made these kids so far, like a hundred years later. Not like immediately after what happened, like right when he becomes Okage. I mean, really, you're trying to get us, the old fans, to watch this because, oh, Naruto's in there and Sasuke's in there. Really? Really? As if I haven't... I hadn't had that like all these years. I've been watching these motherfuckers all these years, man. Like what the fuck are you talking about? I own the fucking volumes. You think I'm thirsty for these? I went and watched it just to see what the new generation are like. And they turned out to be a fucking waste of time. Trash. Trash. Scum. They were, they're like the bottom. The bottom of the trash can. The juice that stinks at the bottom of the trash. When you pick it up and you see it. You see all the flies down there. Yeah, that is what Boruto is. Fucking waste of time, man. And this for... I already said it before. But there's a lot of people out there who feel just like me. But like in terms of Dragon Ball Z. When they see like these um new transformations. New hair. New all that other bullshit. They know what I'm talking about. Boruto is a waste of time. I would have much rather if they went back in time and they showed me the Ninja World War Ninja War 1 and 2. Why not? How did Hashirama die? How did the second Hokage die? How did all of these... You got all of these villages out there. You could have went to all of these other fucking villages and did a, your own story. But you stayed in Konoha. 
You could have went back and told us the story of the mist. How these killers came about. The seven ninjas. They're all, you could have given them their own beautiful arc. Not just cram all that in in the middle of the fucking war. That shit was whack. There's just so many hidden gems in Naruto that you could just pull out and give them their own shine. But instead we get this fucking trash kids piece of shit anime. And they're appealing to all these children out there. Give us what we want. Give us something to hold on to. Give the adults something, man. We're anime fans too. I'm not that old, but like... I see this Boruto kitty shit and I'm like... At least My Hero Academia is like... There's a sense of danger. Like, There's some growth going on. These Boruto kids are trash. They're whack. There's a legacy that comes... Boku no Hero is like a new thing. There's, it's like... It's refreshing. Boruto is like, we see the adults, we see the kids, and like, no, we, we've seen this already. Like, give us something else. Give us something that we wanted to see for so long. Give us these OG Hokage niggas. Sick and tired of these kids, man. Fuck. I ran it for too long. Let me get at this shit, man. I'm about to, I gotta jump to the next episode for My Hero Academia. I'm out of here, man.